so you can say that this this is a particular solution whereas all of this is a direction field for the complete uh, magnetic flux hello everyone i hope you are doing great in the last video we discussed uh, the first order differential equation what the concept of solution is and we looked at how we verify a solution to a differential equation in this video we'll be discussing that without solving a differential equation how do we look at the behavior of a differential equation so that is done using uh, what we call direction fields and direction fields uh, are some things that contain solution curves this is basically the geometrical interpretation of ODEs or ordinary differential equations. The solution curve of a differential equation which has the form y prime equal to f of x comma y. In other words, we have a differential equation on left hand side of which we have dy by dx and the right hand side of that equation we have function of x comma y where there is no uh, factor of y prime present there or y double prime of or any other for that matter so a, a solution curve of uh, this differential equation that passes through a point x0 y0 has a slope equal to the value of f at that point in other words we can interpret this equation in this form that the right hand side is just the tangent of y right this y prime as we saw in calculus that this is it represents the tangent at any given point so if a point is mentioned which is x0 y0 y prime at x0 would be f of x0 y0 that means that we are looking at a function which is the slope or the tangent at the point that we are discussing this this is the this is the basic way of interpreting this equation it is easy to draw a direction field in a 2d plane how you just plug in the discrete values of x and y in the given differential equation of the form this which gives you various slopes at corresponding points if the slope is one then what you do is you draw a small straight line segment with 45 degrees angle and if you get minus one you draw a straight line segment of minus 45 degrees so plus 45 would be you know uh, like this this line segment and minus 45 would be this line segment right similarly for the values between 0 and 1 the angle would be between 0 and 45 and uh, we just draw approximately this is an example of this uh, there is an equation y prime equal to x plus y if we plug in 0 and 0 here you get y prime equal to 0 that means for this particular segment this particular point x equal to 0 y equal to 0 we are going to draw a straight line right what happens if we have the value of x and y 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 we get y prime equal to 1 and for that we are going to draw a 45 degree line so so this is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.5 so we are plotting a line with 45 degree angle here for if we place x equal to 1 y equal to 1 which is equal to 2 the tangent is 2 which is greater than 1 so what do we do we increase for the value 1 and 1 of x and y we increase the slope slightly more than before right and we keep on doing this and the justification for this is that uh, tangent inverse of 1 is 45 we keep on doing that uh, if for example we get a very very large value based on x and y we keep on increasing the slope and for example we get an extremely large value we draw nearly a straight line right so this was the concept of solution curve there could be a question by you at this point that what is the benefit of doing all of this so what we are looking at here is a two is a 2d graph which is a graph of y prime equal to x plus y and this represents the solution of this function at all different points for example if uh, we were to start at this point for example 0 comma 1 so this is x equal to 0 and this is y equal to 1 we would follow each line or approximately the lines which support this red line we are going to go into this direction for example we were to start at 0 comma 0 we would initially be absolutely straight and then we would keep on going upwards like this because all of these lines dictate us or they force us to go upwards Similarly, if we started from 0, minus 1, which is this point, we would go towards this. 
so by the way there is a tool available i have written the website here you can follow this website and you can find it in the description below and you can follow this uh, website to uh, enter a differential equation and it will draw all the line segments and the direction field for you and you can actually plot the particular solutions by the way these are called particular solutions this is a particular solution for this initial value 0 1 uh, this red one the green one is uh, a particular solution of uh, uh, initial value which is this and this blue particular solution is for the initial value which is uh, this 0 comma minus 1 now let me uh, give you another example for example by the way let me take you uh, back a little at this point say we said that differential equation represents a physical system right differential equation is a way to model any real life system into mathematics right so this is what we did we modeled that physical system and we landed on to this equation now this equation needs to be solved in order to further study the behavior of this physical system right so this plot is showing us for different initial values all the possible directions the solution can lead us if we start from a particular point so for example we started at point x equal to minus 1 and y equal to minus 1 so we would be somewhere around this point right x equal to uh, minus 1 and y also equal to minus 1 so we are at this point for example we started from this point should we go towards this direction no because all the lines tell us not to do that because we are not following those lines should we go towards this direction no all the direction field is telling us not to go into this direction similarly this is not possible the only direction which is possible to lead us to a new location based on all these line segments is this one let me draw it and see if you agree to this so actually let me try again for example we were at this point so we would follow this line and this line and this line and this line say and we can extend that back towards the previous values as well so we go towards this direction so this is a particular solution which is for minus 1 comma minus 1 so i hope you understood and got this concept and you uh, understand what a direction field is how it is used to interpret solutions and uh, the, all the the 2d plane represents the general solution of this uh, differential equation but all these colored lines represent particular solutions for a particular starting initial point and if you you know kick start the physical system uh, that is represented by this differential equation and you apply the initial parameters that of any particular value these particular lines will tell you based on this direction field where your solution is going to go further for example x represents time then in terms of time where the solution is going further towards new values for example there is an object a metallic object which we are heating using using an external source and x represents time and y represents its volume so we know that metals expand as heat is applied to them and it changes over time so for example we had the metallic object placed on some kind of heating source and it is being heated up now first we need to model the change in volume of that metallic object with respect to time if a certain amount of heat is applied to that metallic object right that modeling for example was done and we got this equation and when we plotted this equation in the 2d plane this is the complete picture of how the metal is going to expand if we uh, apply heat to that metal right what happens is for example we started to heat the metal when the room temperature was this much then the heating process would expand its volume using this curve if for example we started a heating process of the metal when the room temperature was lesser than the previous one it is going to change its volume based on heat and with respect to time using this graph and similarly for example you had the same metal with a very cold room temperature it would follow this line this is another example of direction field uh, which is for sine of x plus y and you can see that if we start from this point the particular solution takes this form if we start from this point the solution takes this form if we start from this point the solution takes a very different form again okay. one of the things i found interesting was that uh, when you draw flux lines using you know, a magnet and iron uh, particles and uh, 
magnetic field is shown using flux lines and if we place a compass on from one point and we take the compass into the direction of a particular flux line it would follow the same pattern of direction the compass will follow those directions so you can say that this this is a particular solution whereas all of this is a direction field for the complete magnetic flux all right so i hope you understood this concept and uh, if you have any questions you can write down in the comments below and i will be answering right over there uh, if you haven't yet please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon because that's how you will get notifications for newly uploaded videos and see you guys next time